what's going on ladies and gentlemen Beaky here with the UntitledGameshow.com back with some more video game news reaction and discussion as always guys the Untitled Game Show is an everyday gamers point of view share your own opinions in the comment section below for you guys today we're going to be talking about some Nintendo news we got two stories to go over the first story is kind of crazy Nintendo to launch a new console not the 3DS and not the Wii U in emergency markets this story comes from gamespot.com i will have a link to the full article in the description but the gist to it guys nintendo's will be making a new console by 2015 in these markets and they will be releasing new games for these console in the market like china which hasn't had access to video game consoles over the past decade now guys i actually think this is a big mistake the wii u and the 3ds already have a good base of games already out and nintendo launches a brand new console for these regions they're gonna have to make games specifically for that console unfortunately the many of the indie developers who make great games downloadable for these platforms won't be able to transfer their games over to these new markets and china specifically is a market that's been playing games for the last 10 decades anyways on the pc so they know what the wii u is they know what the 3ds is so why not just put out the games on the system that they know already even if they don't have access to that i think that they would still love to play some of the games where they have currently like super mario 3ds you know what i'm starting to say guys they have access to these stuff on the internet they know what it is so i don't think they need to go ahead and make a brand new console that's cheaper specifically for that region i say your system that they have out currently they might make a cheaper model remove a little uh, a few features because then the price it might be too high currently for the wii u but i think the games that are released right now on the Wii U and the 3DS would be compatible for the E-rated games or even in China and other markets where censorship might happen. And some of these emerging markets don't have even a big deal on censorship anyways. They just might have a lower income class so they may not be able to buy an expensive console. Just make the price right. Still have access to all the great library that's already available right now for consoles games on well wii u and the 3ds i consider the 3ds a console just me personally this is how i do it guys so don't mind me saying that but my point of the situation is i think my nintendo being the only one gonna be making games for this right away it's gonna be limited in how many games they could put out because right now nintendo alone can't even support the wii u because they don't put out games fast enough so even if in china they're only gonna get a wii system that's only gonna have basically nintendo games as well it's gonna be kind of iffy i know that nintendo china has their own little you know process for proving games but it's not only china there's a lot of emerging markets out there but to the second story which is a little bit more fun and i actually think this is actually a pretty good idea well nintendo's actually going into their own nfc character figurines this is basically a thing that skylander is based on have a little portal put a little character on it the portal comes the character comes to life or it does something for the game so the one character is going to be compatible with different games it's going to be compatible both with the wii u and the 3ds which is awesome guys now here's what i think about these characters business wise awesome freaking move personally i'm not gonna buy this unless it requires two things has to be high quality figurines it needs to be really high quality figurines and it needs to actually do something good in the game if a mario statue is a mario statue it needs to really do something when i put it on that portal it needs to do something significant in the game for make me really want it and the figurine has to look nice and currently just looking at the little preview picture guys this is a story from joystick.com it kind of just looks like a bit kind of a mcdonald's happy meal type of toy and i don't really want that if that's what i'm gonna get i don't want it i know there's gonna be nintendo fans out there that was really excited for something like this but for me, as somebody who doesn't have Skyliners, it's not really going to be for me if it's just going to be a little low quality thing or if he doesn't do something big in the game. But listen to this, guys. There is 719 Pokemons. And on top of that, there is a shiny version of all of these Pokemons. I do know for a fact, though, there are a Pokemon fan out there who would actually buy all 719 one of them as figurines if they actually did something in Pokemon X and Y or Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire or if they did something for a Pokemon game on the Wii U or if the same function does lock something for that Pokemon in the game. So let's say if you bought a figurine off a let me see a Pokemon that everybody loves a Mew it does something nice for your Mew in the game as well so I think they have potential with this they just gotta implement it right and promote it correctly and Nintendo might have a little hit right here it's just how they implement it in the future but it's a good idea because their system already has the technology they're not really copying Skylanders like everybody's just saying cuz well the Wii U was kind of built with this stuff already the stuff like this already existed way before Skylander anyways they're using RF so overall I think it's a cool idea just gotta be implemented right for me personally like I said I want high quality on figurines and I wanted to actually really do something significant in game it was just gonna give me a new costume for Mario 
I don't care. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be here with the Untitled Game Show.com. And once again, the Untitled Game Show is the everyday gamer's point of view. So share your own opinion in the comment section below. Till then, make sure you guys like, subscribe. To do that, you could go ahead and just click right here where it says subscribe. So click the subscribe button or click here for the next video. Or go ahead and click where it says the Untitled Game Show.com slash shop to support. Till next time, peace out, everybody.